Hi guys. In Python, we sometimes have this problem. We have, I have here like three lists. They are in some way related to each other. And I wish to merge these lists into or, or, or sequences into one sequence. Uh, in this case, this data is uh, related to Formula One world champions. In one table, in one list, sorry, in one list, I have all the championship years. In this case, the first six. Then I have, in the second list, I have the drivers, which uh, won in their respective years. And in the third list, I have the cars, which those drivers drove in those respective years to win their championships. And I wish to merge these um, three lists into a new entity, into a new sequence. In this video, I'm going to show you how to merge these entities uh, these lists into a list of tuples. So basically, what, what we're going to do is we're going to be creating a new list. And this list has tuples as elements. And each tuple contains a combination of, you know, uh, the elements of the three lists. So for instance, the first tuple in our new list would have the first element of this list, the first element of this list, and the first element of this list. The second tuple in our new list would then have the second element of that of that list, second element of that list, and the second element of that list, and so on. So how do I create that? Well, that's a, a, quite a simple exercise. First of all, let's call our list of tuples. Let's give that a name. Let's call it World Champions. And what we're going to be using is the function zip. Zip basically merges all three lists together. And so our uh, first list that we wish to merge is championship uh, years. Then the second one is champion drivers. And the third one is uh, winning cars. Right. So what we have now created is basically a, a, a zip object uh, merging all these three lists together. And if I save that, let me just uh, go down here and print uh world champions now what i'm getting here i've just created an object the zip object and if i print it's something uh, i'm just going to get a pointer to that object but it's not much use to me in in this case i just created an object okay no big deal now i wish to have this object convert this object into a list well then i'd have to encapsulate this uh this object or this created object with the list method. And what that does, it creates now a new list based on that zip object. And if I run that now, now I'm getting my list of tuples, okay? And you see now, what is important here, some key, key things to remember here is that obviously because your, list, your lists are somehow related, your sequences are somehow related, obviously they gotta be sorted in a relevant way. So obviously, uh, you know, Farina is going to be the champion of 1950 and his car is going to be an Alfa Romeo. So I have to ensure that the sorting is for all three lists in this case relevant. So that's the first thing you got to watch out for. Second of all, if one list is has less data than the others, then the zipping will proceed until that level. So let's say if I'm just, I, uh, I have in both of these lists, I have six elements, whereas in the first one, I have only three. If I now zip, the zipping process will only go as far as all three lists have these elements. So all three lists have three elements. No zipping will go beyond the third element. And if I run that now, you'll see my, um, my merge list, my zip list, or my, my new list, the, the world champions, is basically limited to three elements because it is only three elements which all of them have in common. Nobody, the, the first list doesn't have any fourth element or fifth element and so on. So that's, that's one thing to watch out for. Let me just redo that. And another thing what you can, uh, what you can uh, see here is that, I mean, yeah, I've got here three lists, but I, I might as well have like uh, three tuples. Makes no difference. Uh, zip, the, the zip function works just the same. So if I just uh, run that again, you'll see I just get the same results as before. Uh, 
even if that is a tuple. So that's that's the one thing. And obviously, because we created a zip object and I have a list of lists, I can also make a tuple of tuples. So all I have to do is just change the method up here and just say tuple. So what I'm doing is I'm still merging all three together, but now this, this zip object Please make a tuple object out of that zip object, basically convert that to a tuple. And what we'll be getting now is basically a tuple of tuples. And that is the case. Uh, to this theme here, I would like to add, I mean, there's nothing wrong with having a tuple of tuples. It's just that uh, in, 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 in most programming languages, it is basically like this, that each list contains basically related articles. So basically all the years are here, all the drivers are here, all the winning cars are here. Whereas a tuple would contain uh, diverse data. So for instance, if you look at this tuple, it has diverse data, year, driver, car, and you can add any other elements to that tuple. So uh, if, you, if you compare it to tables, the tuple would be the row, whereas the list would be the column. So even though it's doable, a tuple of tuples, in this case, it is not sort of the norm because uh, this tuple, this outer tuple basically has the same data. It's basically always the same. So you can use a tuple, but like I said, the norm is uh, having a list. Uh, because a list has always the same sort of elements and if I have if this was a list this merged uh, if this merged entity world champions was a list then that would suit the norm because uh, all, all elements in that list are basically the same thing of course add to that that you cannot modify a tuple a tuple is immutable in Python whereas a list is mutable so I could not uh, add new elements to that outer tuple because it's a tuple it's immutable so that's what you got to watch out for so basically the most uh, orthodox or normal way to do that is basically have a list of tuples and uh, you combine those various um, and that's also very unnatural to have this as a tuple because again here we have basically the same sort of data which is basically cars so the normal way would to have is basically lists and then you just create a list of tuples out of those various lists and with the result looks uh, looking something like that so that's basically the way uh, merging lists into one list of tuples goes like i said you can also you know create a tuple of tuples doesn't make no difference it's just that you know you gotta watch that uh, your tuple of tuples doesn't get misread into something else or so